This tutorial will go over the Agris T30 T10 app interface and function settings. Tap on the main screen to enter the execution screen. The M screen integrates manual and semi-autonomous operations including manual mode, manual plus mode, and A to B route mode. You can select a mode based on your requirements. Tap manual to go to the drone health management system where you can view the status of each system. Tap a module to display its detailed status information. The horizontal radar switch can enable or disable the horizontal radar. Satellite signal. Normally, the drone must have at least eight satellite signals when performing operations. Signal strength of the link system. The drone should perform operations when the signal is good. Battery power. Ensure that the battery power is at least 10% when you fly the drone. Main setup switch. This will be explained later. The eraser is used to erase the flight trajectory. The positioning switch has two settings, locate drone and locate waypoint. After tapping the positioning switch, the corresponding position is displayed on the screen. Screen lock. If screen lock is disabled, you can drag the screen as desired. If screen lock is enabled, the drone is always located in the middle of the screen. Map display. Three options are provided, standard, satellite, and night. If you want to use the satellite map, tap satellite. Drone FPV view. You can select the front or rear FPV view as needed. By tapping the screen, you can switch between the map and video screen. Start button. In manual operation mode, you need to tap Start to start an operation. In A to B points or fully autonomous mode, you do not need to tap Start. This is a radar ball which can display the direction of obstacles and the angles of a waypoint. This is the operation data of the Agris drone. The data can be displayed in real time during actual operation. Next, we are going to introduce the setup screen of the remote control. The connection routing and RTH speed refers to the flight speed of a drone when it goes to the takeoff point or the break point during an automatic operation. You can set this speed as needed. Display empty tank and or refill points. If this function is enabled, the system will automatically calculate the best replenishment point according to the current amount of pesticide. You are advised to enable this function. Spraying complete. Generally, you are advised to select hover. If you select ascend 3 meters, Check whether there are trees and high voltage lines above the drone. If contact with the drone is lost, you are advised to select Hover. The Course Lock in M Plus mode is a function in the M Plus mode. After this function is enabled, the drone nose is locked. After the function is disabled, the drone can turn freely in M Plus mode. IMU and Compass Calibration are available in the Advanced settings. IMU is calibrated only when the IMU Calibration Required prompt is displayed on the screen. Compass calibration is generally unnecessary. However, if you disable the RTK orientation function on the RTK setup page, you are advised to promptly calibrate the compass. Allow attitude mode. However, this is not recommended in most cases. If you need to use the T30 orchard mode, select the orchard mode in the model options. Spraying system settings. You can turn off the spraying system during simulation training. Spraying system real-time data. After you turn on this toggle key, you can see the working status on the left and right water pumps of the drone. Purge pipeline air is equivalent to pressing and holding the spray button for two seconds. After you tap purge air, the air is automatically purged. Set spray tank level. You can set the actual amount of pesticide when the level sensor fails so that the drone can continue its operation. If the flow is inaccurate, you can perform calibration as prompted. If the level is still inaccurate, recalibrate the pump. Note that if the pump is replaced, you also need to calibrate the pump. The nozzle model is SX11001VS by default. If the nozzle is replaced, set the nozzle model to the actual model and perform flow calibration. RC settings. If the remote control is used to control only one drone, directly tap Linking. If the remote control is used to control multiple drones, you need to tap Multiple Device. Tap Linking to perform linking. 
Then long press the power button of the drone for 5 seconds when the drone is on. When the status indicator of the remote control changes from red to green, linking is successful. After long-term use, the stick may not be centered. The remote control will start beeping after power on. And the status indicator blinks blue. In this case, you need to calibrate the remote control. During calibration, move the stick exactly to each designated position as prompted. Then, turn the flow wheel. When the remote control displays a successful prompt, the calibration is successful. The stick can be operated in different modes, including Mode 1, Mode 2, and Mode 3. Mode 2 is recommended. There are many shortcut buttons on the remote control. You can modify these buttons according to your operation habits. For example, you can set the C3 button as the Avoidance Function button. Radar Settings the Height Finder radar can quickly and accurately determine the terrain changes to adjust the relative height between the drone and crops, thus realizing terrain adaptive flight. The Horizontal Obstacle Avoidance radar can identify the surrounding obstacles and send reminders accordingly to ensure the safety of the drone. You're advised to enable this radar. The Overhead Obstacle Avoidance is a function only available on the T-30 and T-10. This function is used to detect obstacles above the drone. You are advised to enable this function when there are obstacles above the drone. During an autonomous or A to B points of operation on a large field, you can enable automatic obstacle avoidance so that the drone can automatically avoid obstacles. The side obstacle detection distance refers to the detection of radar to obstacles on both sides of the drone. You can reduce this detection distance to prevent the drone from entering the obstacle avoidance state during edge sweeping operations. If the remote control frequently generates warnings, you can decrease the warning distance to reduce the warning frequency. If warnings are frequently generated on the screen and affect the visibility of operation parameters, you can reduce the see-through attitude indicator value. By enabling the distance to obstacle, you can see the actual distance of the obstacle. This is the operating mode of the radar. Auto mode is used for common operations, and tree mode is used for orchard operations. If you encounter a false obstacle warning generated by the radar, you can perform radar calibration as prompted. Intelligent Battery Setting The battery of a T-Series Agris drone consists of 14 cells. The smaller the voltage difference of each battery, the better the battery status. The total voltage battery temperature, number of cycles, and discharge current are displayed here. You are advised to set the low battery warning threshold to 15 to 20% and the critical low battery warning threshold to 5 to 10%. Other settings. If the network condition is good and your data package is sufficient, you can select HD second layer map to facilitate operations. When the drone warranty expires and needs to be renewed, you can tap upload to upload the component information. After VR projection of aircraft in FPV mode is enabled, a range is given and the border of the green FPV area is located directly below arms number 1 and number 4 of the drone. The FPV horizontal line corresponds to the tips of propellers 1 and 4. With a VR projection and horizontal line, you can quickly plan the flight and judge the distance from obstacles, making operations more convenient.